Hello guys, we are watching German Gyan. My name is Nidhi Jain and guys today again I am here with this amazing video and most demanding video just for you. So uh, probably I will be making in two parts but if you will be commenting down below that we want part 3 as I have mentioned in the whole video please do watch this video till end because the whole video is connected so please don't miss any point in between. So yes, let's get started. So in this video in a part 1 video, I will be letting you know the B1 exams tips. Top 6 tips uh, which probably I tell to all of my students that if you do this then absolutely 99% you will get absolutely amazing marks in the German B1 exam. So yes, let's get started. And before that, I want to show you very, very special thing as I have received. This is a painting I have received from Diksha Bros. So this is such an amazing painting and this is written German Gyan in this. So let me show you the close up of it. if you want to order such beautiful paintings she do very amazing creative things if you want any painting you can contact them the instagram id for diksha draws i will be mentioning it below in the description box please go and check it out this is an amazing brand and now let's get started first which I want to suggest you is improve your vocabulary so the first point is improve your vocabulary now uh, the very common questions which you which everyone do ask me that how many words how many vocabulary exactly we should learn for B1 level is there any count of the number or what should we do please give me solution so I am here with a solution so guys when you uh, get the next workbook if you are starting from netful book and if you have buyed it then you will be getting a glossary book which is the dictionary book with the network book yes i hope you will be knowing and if you don't have then i have put a link in description click there and you can download the glossary book for yourself for a1 a2 b1 any level wherever you stand and you put yourself so and if you do that glossary book maximum till you will find the 12 chapters in it but if you do till B1 uh, 8th level it's best because till 8th level B1 vocabulary is very much important if you if you want to skip like 9, 10, 11 and 12 it's up to you and if you do till 12 then kudos to you so it totally depends on you I will suggest to do at least till 8th chapter vocabulary very thoroughly and very important you must be aware of A1 and A2 vocabulary if you are then for B1 only the needed one is till 8 chapter minimum if you do till 12 then it's absolutely amazing so yes let's go to the point number 2 okay so the second point is the grammar uh, when you do a writing things and everything in B1 then your grammar and your vocabulary is checked in vocabulary you are done now grammar is left so guys i will suggest you that stay tuned for the part 2 video which is coming on next saturday because every tuesday i come with a live session to solve all your queries so yes stay tuned on tuesday i will be coming up live at 3 pm so stay tuned and next saturday so i will be coming up i think so it's 5th december so i will be coming on 5th december with a new video for you all with the part 2 and in that video I will be explaining you the grammar whole topics that what all topics are the most important topics which you have to cover for B1 good marks B1 exam which means that vocabulary is must because that will be absolutely coming in your exams in different different ways like letter writing or blog writing or your opinion writing so yes stay tuned for that blog and now let's go to the third point so guys as you know till here you are done with the grammar and the vocab 
grammar part video is coming so stay tuned so let's assume that we are done with the vocabulary and grammar if we are doing a exam preparation and now we want to clear up to the third step so the third point i will suggest to you that read as much as you can so guys for you all uh, i personally telling you my own experience when i was learning plus uh, as i'm teaching from so many years so i have gathered so much experience into it so i'm just uh, sharing my own experience that guys in the description box i will be putting three links in one of the link you will be finding that uh, uh, if you open up then you will be getting so many different different blogs so please do read it and read it and read it because there are unlimited blogs and that will absolutely help you to get more and more information and for with that your vocabulary skills will also be increased and in fact you will be learning that how you have to write the things of course the level for that blog will be higher like c2 or c1 but yes absolutely you will be learning a lot of things from the reading part itself so that's why reading is very very important and one more thing in one of the link you will be finding the newspaper articles like news so that is very important because i have done so much so news is ultimate amazing thing if you want to read or if you want to see that okay how to write the things or which grammar or which vocabulary you should use at which place so yeah please do read the small small articles which are there and that is absolutely friendly for the b1 level students so yes please go and check it out so yeah let's go to the fourth point okay so the fourth one i will say that please now it's a time to improve if you have followed all three steps now the fourth point is just to improve your writing skills now how to improve your writings as i have told you in the last third point that one of the link will be open for you for the newspaper articles so what i will suggest you because i have done that plus all my students remunyan students do that there will be one option uh, there will be one question for you all that you have to write your own ex ex uh, opinion you have to express yourself so for that it will be very much helpful so what you have to do is when you are reading the blog so just read it very carefully and then what you have to do is which is very very easy and interesting also you will absolutely love it you have to read the blog and then you have to write your opinion that okay what do you think about this news Uh, the advantage is the disadvantage your opinion and later once you are doing it for one week two weeks after that you will be uh, uh, feeling like okay now i am much more expressive now i can write the things much more earlier now i can write the things much more easily so yes that will absolutely help it out and guys one more request to you if you are writing it then please don't forget to share that Uh, writing blogs or writing opinions with your teacher because if somebody is not correcting you then it will be a harm for you itself because the wrong things you will be saying okay it's correct but yes it will harm you in the exam preparation so please don't do it and let's go to the point number 5 now point number 5 is very very important which is your speaking and listening more or less everyone is facing problem in this fifth point am i right so what exactly you have to do is for speaking let me tell you first in speaking what you have to do is i will be putting a link in the descriptions of the ready metals so in that ready metals what you have to do is you have to read it and then speak in front of the mirror and you can speak to your german friend uh, suppose somebody is learning with you so just try to speak with them or otherwise you can join different different groups like i am having whatsapp groups i am having facebook groups so you can join it and you can converse do a conversation with anyone who believe on phone on message anything and yes your speaking skills will automatically increase or if you don't get anyone then record yourself in front of the mirror or just put a camera as a selfie camera and record yourself like you normally do the videos just for the instagram or tiktoks yeah so just do that by the way tiktok is banned don't talk about it so you just have to do that and then send that clip to your trainer send that clip to the teacher and 
ask your teacher because she will be very much happy that okay if you are giving your 100% efforts then of course the trainer will be super happy and much more happier to help you more and more so yes that will be the best option and she gonna love it or he gonna love it whosoever teacher is there so yes absolutely you should do that i will recommend that because my students do that so i am super proud of them okay now let's talk about the listening for listening i always say please watch the cartoons German cartoons you can find it down on YouTube or we are having different different things where you can watch it out in fact on television we also have that but for that uh, there is some different uh, options which you have to get it from your cable so if not TV you can watch on YouTube it's available with subtitles in the starting you start watching and once you are okay with the everything then close the subtitles and try to understand that will absolutely help you for the listening part and one more thing which i'm going to tell you is super helpful try to listen the advertisement because advertisements are smaller but very entertaining plus very expressive so that will make you helpful to recognize that of exactly what they are trying to say fine otherwise if not then uh, try to hear the german radio easily you can find on net please go and do this and you will find yourself that you are improving in your uh, speaking and hearing spells and absolutely you're gonna love it now let's go to the point number six and six point is which is very very important guys do buy the modal papers please 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 eh, on amazon you will be finding otherwise i will be putting a link in description you can please go and buy it otherwise there are thousands of website you will be watching on internet and from there you can download the exams only goethe exams on goethe side there is i think so two exams or one exam which is available there that is not enough try to solve as many modal paper as you solve as you can solve and that will help you so much plus if you are giving goethe exam then try to give telk exam telk is another exam which is not held in india it's only in germany so uh, get their papers they are having so many papers on uh, you will find it on net uh, click them and download it and do it as many papers you will be doing it, you gonna be more and more perfect and you will see that okay one day before the exam you will think okay i'm confident now and now i can give the exam so yeah we need that confident in you and if you want the speaking uh, more tips then you can comment down below of course i will be making the part three as i was talking in the beginning so it's totally on you that how many videos you want particular on which topic and i will be so much happy to make it i hope this video is help you and guys stay tuned for the upcoming videos because i am super happy and excited to make more and more videos just to help you guys because i personally love my whole gg family you know that guys right so stay tuned and guys don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and please do follow on my instagram german gyan one because i am putting a lot of efforts and daily posting something new and new and new which you gonna love it so please and See you in the next video. Till then, stay happy, stay blessed, and cheers. Auf Wiedersehen. Keep learning German with German Gyan.